inspecting a GraphQL application or the transport between a GraphQL application with the Google Developer Tools can sometimes be difficult. Look at this simple request that I have here, which fetches all the data of this application we built. I can quickly click on the GraphQL request here. I get all the details about this request. But if I really want to have a look what this request does, I can look in the payload, which is kind of overwhelming because it's a lot of components, a lot of fragments in here. And the only thing I really can do is copy it out, right? Also, when I look at the response, it's also difficult to reason about. This is where Banana Cake Pop really comes to your rescue. You can do a quick copy to curl here, then go to eat.bananacakepop.com. And then you can just paste this. And let me put my hand on the other side. You simply can paste here the curl request that we just copied. For this, we go down here. We can click on the keyboard shortcuts. And there's open new document tab from clipboard, which is command option V. Let's just do that, command option V. The request is copied in here. You can see it's really a big GraphQL request with lots of components involved. It's also deferred and we copied it with all the headers intact. So we can just run that. And then you can see the request is done. We can expand it down here because it's a deferred request. We can inspect the patches. In this case, the first patch has a ton of data. So it's already a lot. But when we look at the second patch, it basically just gives us here the gainers and losers, but it's empty because it's not the last payload. We can then go to the next one, which is either the gainers or the losers. In this case, it's the gainers and then the losers. We can also capture the variables. So if I have a different request, for instance, if I go down here in the cryptocurrency and I inspect my next request here, and let's copy that also as curl. In this case, we can either use the shortcut or we use these more actions here where we can just say new document from clipboard. And then you can see down here also the variables are copied in. And uh, again, I can run the request, I can modify it and uh, see where problems might lie or what is going on.